In this video, a bear pays us a late night visit, I do some arts and crafts, I make some much needed repairs, and spend some time clearing for the new fence line. The birds are alright this morning. Right there is a hawk. And there's another one over there calling back. And the crows are really upset over here. It is a crazy morning here on the farm. All these predators in the air today. Sauron's not taking any chances. Every once in a while he gives the special chirp or call. And I mean, it's crazy. All the birds will sprint underneath the coop. It's a good reaction. But that's not the only thing that's been going on here last night or this morning and last night. Oh yeah, somebody decided to tip over our stuff bird feeder also got tipped over but oddly enough the bird feeder itself is unmolested I think bear definitely I just can't figure out what the deal is with the bird feeder I mean it's like bend it over just because you can I guess do bears get bored like that just decide to express themselves Uh, we'll keep an eye out for the day, I guess. Okay, I just cleaned all this up. I'm pretty sure there was another bag of garbage in there. So that's probably out here in the woods somewhere. You know, I wonder if a bear carrying a garbage bag in its mouth comes this way and in the dark runs into this and just runs it over because you're not seeing too good. One of the projects that's coming up as well is to replace the bed and the floor, the passenger compartment floor of the mule because that metal's getting rusted out in some spots. It was like that when we got it, it was previously owned uh, by the Sarasota County government. Uh, and that's a coastal, you know, Gulf Coast community. And so this thing was driving a lot in salt water. And so I've got uh, some metal plating that's gonna be used to replace that. I'm cleaning it up, taking a little bit of rust off it, and then I'm going to hit it with some Rust-Oleum just to give it some protection. glad it's drying darker than the first spray because I was like, oh, it's like neon. But no, that's good. That'll go good in the mule. Hunter green, so. Got the uh, replacement part in for the uh, chainsaw, so I'm gonna swap that out and then I gotta get back out in the woods. You can really see how that's just all chewed up in there like that. And the replacement. You know what? I saw a guy say that he put a little grease on there. I think I'm gonna do the same, just a just a touch. Thing said you just want to put a little bit on there, but you don't want to glob it on because you don't want it to throw off excess into the uh the area around it here. This tree was not was not falling. I thought I hadn't cut all the way through it, but there's a reason. It's this. 
There, now I cut down here, so I was clear of the metal in the tree, but look at this, barbed wire coming out. Comes to this tree here, right? But it's wicked tight, because it got pulled. Well, look at this. Suddenly this appears, and this is really tight. So it looks like, eh, that when that tree fell, it pulled the barbed wire through like flossing a tooth. Pulled it through and uh, yeah, so I gotta get the metal cutters to cut that, that. I need to come out here. I'm gonna clear, I cut these down so I could clear all of this out of here and I'll add to the burn pile over there. So there's the post at the ground marker, the survey marker. And then the pond's looking good out there today. No, it's not time yet. It's still a while till lunch. Well, your lunch. I'm gonna have lunch now. The replacement ignition coil for the mule is here. So let's see if I can figure out how to remove and replace. All right, so this is the coil here, right above the oil filter. It's got two clips. One here and one here. I believe they are different sized clips. Okay, that's one. That looks like a tiny one. Okay. Okay, that's an eight millimeter there. So that's what size I'm going with to remove those screws. Okay, that was awesome. And that's it. Okay, so here we go. I was told that the key, this is I gotta unscrew this, which is the part that goes on to the spark plug. And that it should unscrew and reveal somehow how it connects. See right there, you can see, oops, how do I get in there? Oh, there it is. There's a hole where the wire is and it's, you can see it's got a hole poked in it. Inside there, I don't think you can see it, but there's down at the bottom a slight glow. That's like a prong that sticks out, like the, like a tack. I need to take the new one, flippy McZippy, and then it's got the cable in there. So this, oh, you know what it does? It screws, it's actually, it's not like a tack. It's like a little screw in there. I can see the threads. So this is where I'll push it down on there. And then hope that I did that right. Let's get that reinstalled then. goes there all right so the manual says this one gaps at 0.28 to 0.32 and to keep it simple just put it at 0.3 I put on goes on here like that right. this one's on the back of the engine oh Gosh, who put that in? Yeah, same thing. BPR 5 ES when it should be BPR 2 ES. Keeping in mind that the 5 means, the higher number means it burns at a lower temperature cooler so it doesn't burn as much of the fuel, air, uh, the fuel mix. It's supposed to have a BPR 2, which is a higher burn, which cooks off more of it. So that's why I'm gonna swap this out. Goes. Yeah, that's the sound. Thank goodness, because I had no idea where to go next. And that's that. So, I feel so good. I, I feel so good. I've come a long way in my life to where I can do something like this. And uh, that makes me happy. So, now this is back up and running. The smaller riding mower is back up and running. The bigger riding mower, I still got to get that rear tire done, and I'm going to have to ask for help. Another lesson for life. 
ask for help. But not today, because that was awesome. Now it's kind of raining. I got thunderstorms overhead and uh, some thunder rolling and some rain trickling down. Not too much though, it's just a pity pat on the roof of my pole barn. That was not a dare. And, but the chickens haven't run away yet, so can't be bad. I still need to get out and uh, spend some more time on the fence line, but that might be tomorrow. That's it from here. We'll talk to you guys later.